Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon. And this video is the second part and the final part of my video for creating a game, a platform game, using Flash Develop and the Citrus game engine. And I originally got this idea from Lee Brimlow at GoToAndLearn.com. He's an action script flash Adobe evangelist. Now, he did his at gotoandlearn.com using Flash Builder, but Flash Builder costs money and Flash Develop is free, so we're going to use Flash Develop. Now, when you look here, you'll see my project. I have my main, which we created last time. I, do, I did reset the height and width of my game just to make it a little smaller so that it would better fit into my screen. And then if you remember last time we created the game state AS package. And just to show you how this looks, I'm going to run it. So here's my game. This guy down here is my hero. This is my bad guy. And so I'm going to go back and forth as you can see. I can hop onto a moving platform. Oops, I fell. Okay. And if I ever get into the treasure, oh, I hit the bad guy, he's gone. If I ever get to the treasure, well, I'll stop it for now. But if you get to the treasure, it grabs the treasure and the treasure disappears. So, so that's um, what the game looks like. And so now I'm going to show you how this works. Now you may think you have to type all of these here in, and you really don't. When you start typing down here, um, Flash Develop will insert them. And I will be posting this um, document on my website at learningengineer.com after I post the video. So these will put themselves up here. The important thing about this is in the original video, I this was not this. This was something else. So I changed it. And I rem the problem was that it, well, I don't believe it was box 2D. So remember, these all have to be box 2D for in order to work. OK, so those are my imports. And then you'll see right below here, I have a series of embed statements. And what these embed statements do is they're very simple. They're going to bring in images so that our hero, our villain, and our treasure chest have a picture attached to them instead of just being a square or a circle. Okay. And these go under the public class, not in underneath in the override public function. So here we have a public function game state, and we're going to call it super very simple. There isn't a lot going on there. Then the important one, the override public function initialize. So the initial public function of initialize we're going to change. We're going to make it super initialize here. And then we're going to add our physics. Okay. And then I have this. This is before I added the quads, which are these. So if you want to test it out before you do the quads, you can do that. You just want to get you just want to have that instead. Then you add the physics to the stage. And the first thing I do is create my floor. That's the blue floor. I should probably run this. And we can get rid of well let's just there we go. And let's bring back our, our thing here. So the first one is the floor. Ah. Okay, as you can see, it's blue. It's down here, so that's the floor. Then next we have the red platform. This is platform one. Okay, and then we have the yellow platform, which is here, which is P2, and you can see all the numbers are there. And then we have our moving platform. So this is the first one here is the far right 
aquamarine moving platform over here and then this one here is the fuchsia one and you'll see that anytime we want to add it to the stage we have to say add and then add it to the stage then we have our hero this is where our hero starts okay and we have an enemy and so let's say I wanted to add a new platform so let's say I wanted to add a new moving var mp2 and you'll see this comes up <coughs> and so we want to type in moving start typing in moving platform and you'll see at the very top we end up with the citrus objects platformer box 2d moving platform and that's the one we want because that's box 2d and if we select it you see it automatically sticks in the new the moving platform and when you do that it will automatically add these and so that's how that works so that's what you have to be careful of when you're typing this in is to make sure you get the box 2d one then we have our hero our enemy, our gold coin, or our treasure chest, this would actually be. And then I added this because, you know, at some point in time we'll want it to do something when you hit it. For now it's just going to trace goal. And that's a treasure chest. And that's really it. That's all there is to this little simple gaming platform. So I'm Michael Langdon, learningengineer.com, where we engineer learning for efficiency. Have a great day. And like I said, I will be posting the code onto the website learningengineer.com. Thanks. Bye.